Lakshman saw him. He had a black breastplate over which a shining orb gleamed. He wore a tilak, similar to the marks on the foreheads of those who worship Shiva. His skin was dark as charcoal. His thick bushy moustache was curled at the edges. He had two swords. Felt a glimpse of the man, right? A fearful one? Didn't feel. Sorry. So this is our protagonist or antagonist of the book we are going to review today. Ravan Putra Meghnath, Prince of Lanka by Kevin Misal. Misal is popular for his works The Kalki Trilogy which I have reviewed earlier. Misal started his writing at the age of 14. I don't even remember what I was doing at that age. So after reading the Kalki Trilogy I felt a surge to read this one too. Did I regret? We'll come to that later. By the way, I have given the timestamps of this video below. This book covers almost all of the characteristics we knew about Meghnath, like how he became Indrajit, how he was the right hand of Ravana, how he used to deceit in his battles and of course, how he failed to keep his promise to his wife to return alive from the battle. It also describes the deceits of Surpanakha and Bhivishan in the battle. Misal calls Surpanakha Supernika for what I do not know. This, books, this book of Mishal also describes the deceits of Meghnath like the thunders by the means of signs. This book is truly delicious for mythology lovers. Having said that, I felt the ending was hasty. Like if you have read the book or will read it, you will see, you will enjoy it, every bit of it, when suddenly the writing speeds up with twists and turns and ends the beautiful novel. So do I recommend it? For the ones who have read a lot of mythological fiction like the Siva trilogy, the Kalki trilogy, etc., this book will not be that interesting. But the ones who haven't grabbed this book, or any other trilogy, go and grab this book now. It will be a delicious read in this lockdown.